This is my list of customers. This is the master customer list. This customer is in both places, so I'm not interested. This second item in my list is not over in the master list, and so I want to extract it. Now, we've been having a lot of fun the last three videos with comparing two lists and extracting items in list two that are not in list one. But whereas in these videos, we used formulas or advanced filter, in this video, we want to use Power Query. <laughs> In Excel, Power Query is in the Data Ribbon tab. There it is, Get and Transform. If you're in Power BI Desktop, the simple steps we use here in Excel work also in Power BI Desktop. Now in Excel, you have to convert your lists or tables into an Excel table. So you click in a single cell, and we'll use the keyboard, Control-T. Click OK. We immediately want to name this. We'll call it something smart like Master List, Up to Data. Get and transform, we say from table. This opens up the Power Query window. We see that it inherited the name from the Excel table, which is fine for us. We don't need to transform this. We simply go to close and load, close and load to, only create a connection. We're just bringing this table in to the Power Query editor. Click OK. I repeated the same steps for our customer table. And in the Queries and Connections pane, we can see we've added both tables to the Power Query editor. Now, in order to extract the items from our list that are not in the master list, we'll start by double-clicking My List. That opens up the Power Query editor. On the left, I can open. And these two queries are available for us to use. I'm going to select My List. Go to Home. We want Combine and Merge Queries. We want Merge Queries as New. The top or left table will be My List. We select the column we want to use to compare. In the lower, or what's called Right table, we select Master List, select Customers. And it's the join kind we need to change to Left Anti. Notice what it says, Rows only in the first. That means Healthy Garden. It's only in the first, not in the second. So that will remain in our final query. Now I click OK, and it gives us this strange table. Well, with a merge, we're comparing two columns and gathering up items. Well, because there's nothing from the first list, we get these weird empty tables. But we don't need this column. We're just interested in our customer. So right click, Remove. We definitely want to name this query something like Remaining Customers. Now we can close and load, close and load to, table, existing, somewhere like F4. Click OK. And there we have customers from our list that are not in the master list. Now here's your Power Query bonus tip. Let's double click Remaining Customer. And what if you want the items in both lists? No problem. We come back to our source step, click the gear icon, and down in Join, we simply choose Inner, only matching rows. Select, click OK. We don't need to remove it because it's already being removed. We simply close and load, and there's the items in both lists. Now, if you want to learn more about the amazing Power Query Merge feature, check out this video. It shows you all six types of joins and great business examples. Thank you.